Hi, this is Alan from Alan Pro. I'm a seven-figure online business entrepreneur by selling online. If you want to learn more about that, please go visit ellenpro.com. For now, I'm going to show you how to effectively set up your Facebook ad. The most important thing in Facebook ad is to set up a few custom audiences set, so you can keep testing until you find your ideal customers, ideal audiences, and stick with that ideal audiences. And yes, it does take time and money to find that. Some of the categories are easy and some of them are vague. For example, for Ellen Pro, my audience is online sellers. But how do I target them? I can target people who have home business, who likes entrepreneurship. But some sellers are probably do this on the side, so they don't have home business. And not all of the home business people are interested in online selling. But if you're selling commodity, it might be easier, depends on your category. If you're selling cosmetic, you can just target people who are interested in cosmetic. If you're selling kitchenware, you can target people who are interested in cooking, and so on. Now, let me show you how to set up your custom audiences in Facebook. So, the first thing is to go to your personal Facebook account. And on desktop, on the right hand side, click on manage ads. And then just click on your account. Click off. Here is a list of campaign I ran in the past. So now let's go to the hamburger menu on the top left side corner and click on audiences insights. And just click on everyone on Facebook. Click off. So let me show you how this works. Basically, this is all the demographic stuff on Facebook. So this means 54% of the people on Facebook are women, and 3% of them like soccer and SUV. And it's their relationship status, education level, and job title, and everything. And on page like it also shows what's the page most people like on Facebook. The first one is Walmart, the second one is Amazon, and their location as well. Looks like most people are located in Phoenix, Arizona on this first page. Oh, if you just uh, <coughs> collapse the, the section, you'll see more. So never mind about the Phoenix thing. And their activity, household information, and their purchase habit. So ideally, you're going to adjust everything on the left hand side and then make this number to 1 million. 1 million monthly active people. Basically, it's to narrow down um, only 1 million people, Facebook users, for your ad. Let's get started. So on the left hand side location, I only want to target United States. If you want to add other country, feel free to do so by typing the country name here. And for age and gender for cosmetic, I would probably say from eight, I would like to target young girls. So 18 to 35 maybe. And gender is woman. That's what I feel like it's the ideal. You can play around and keep um, creating different audience set. Interest. For people who like cosmetic. So I click on shopping and fashion. Beauty. Okay, there you go. You find a cosmetic. So this one, see this number changed. It changed to 20 million to 25 million. So we just keep... Um, Adding stuff in there to narrow down the number. And connection. Okay, this is nothing here. Pages. People who will connect to. Ooh. Okay. Let's see the audiences inside. Let's see their demographic. 
lifestyle. Looks like 40% of them is single. So that's narrowed down to relationship status. Where is that? And put a single. Okay, this number now changed to 7 million to 8 million. Let's just keep doing that. Education level. Let's exclude grad school to narrow down. Uh, education. Click on high school and college. That will narrow down. That, that will exclude grad school. And now it's 5 million to 6 million. Now let me see what page do they like. Ah, uh, Forever 21. Pretty Little Lions. Bad, da, 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 da. Interesting. Looks like most of them like Hello Key. Actually, I think Forever 21 is more relevant, so let's put page like. Where is that? Okay, let me find it. Behavior. Yep, behavior. Oops. All right, here. Can put the page like under interest. So let's put forever 21 here. Okay, that narrowed down slightly tiny bit. Okay, let's see. Location. Top. Oops. Top cities. Uh, just uh, browsing the STEM graphics and see what we need to know. Maybe we can focus on the job title. Uh, I will put retail because I think uh, I'm under the impression that most people who work in retail need to, need to make up every day. So let's do that. Where is the job title? Mm, work. Retail. Okay. Ooh, that's too narrow now. So, nope, I will not do that because it's only ha it has only 350k people now. So let's delete that retail thing. Click off. Okay, let's narrow down to a corporation and small office. Oh, that's too narrow. All right, I just maybe I just should click off single. Hmm. Nope. 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 See number. Okay, I have to focus on something else. Okay, I think I should focus on the job title, but not only retail. So let's. I I will add retail, administrative, personal care, and management, and maybe sales. So let's go to um, work. Where is that? Okay, job title. Let's add retail first. Okay, that's and then add sales. That's seventy five percent of them. So sales. Okay. Okay, that's our ideal audiences. 1 million to 1.5 million. Now let's save this. This is our first ideal audiences test. Oops. Come on, I cannot save it. Clear. Save it. Okay, here you go. So. Cosmetic audiences, audience test one, and click on save. So just keep doing this thing and find two more, two more audiences set. Okay, now let's create an ad. So just click on this green button right here. And I like to use that create tool.
So these are the types of ads you can do. For this case, I would do I usually just do increase conversions for your website so I can get more sales for my business. So just click on this. And let's name this website traffic test. Just click on continue. Click on set up conversion. Just click on track conversion with standard events. So this is the code you're going to get from Facebook. Just click on email pixel code and then uh, Facebook will send you a bunch of code and all you need to do is to copy and paste that code into your websites. I think uh, it's in between the in the header section, but you'll see the instructions in the email. Just click on that. Just send an email to myself to get a code. Yep, here it says copy and paste below and uh, copy the code and, and paste it between the head and head in your website code. And as standard events, blah, 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 blah. so just copy all this into your website in the head area. And then also copy this in the script area. So just click on that, just close it. And I already have one saved already. So I already have one um, set up already, so just click on that. Okay, so make sure you click on the audiences, click the audiences that we just did. And make sure everything's checked. This is the mobile news feed where you can see the ad when you use your mobile phone. And this is where you can see your um, ad in Instagram. And audience network, this is your ads. In partner mobile apps, that means other, other, other apps that's associated with Facebook. And desktop news feed, that's like, let me show you what's desk, desktop news feed. So, something like this, it says sponsored. This is the desktop news feed. And then, desktop right column. This is right here on the right column. This, you see where it says sponsored? This are all ads. Okay, let's go back. Mobile device, you can um, select if you want to show this ad in Android only or iOS only. I would just leave it as all mobile devices. And you can also enable the option, um, the ad will be only showing when this person is connected to Wi-Fi. And here is where you going to set the daily budget. Uh, the default is fifteen dollars. Well, you can play around with it, and then you can set a date, or you can select run the ad continuously. But it's probably better to set a date so you don't like go over the budget. And this is how they. I would just leave it as recommended conversion, and leave this one day automatic impression. Da, 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 da. And click on continue. Okay, so this is where you're going to set up your ad. You can do image, slideshow, or video. So let's try the image first. You can either up, uh, upload your own photo, or you can use the free stock image that Facebook provided. Oh, there's an unstuck image. Interesting. Well, usually there's some stuck image showing here. Weird. Okay, I'll just use some old stock image. Done. And then, okay, in order to have your um, ad running, you have to have a page or link already. So I would like to promote my page, Ellen Pro. I will select Ellen Pro. 
end. Um, here's where you're going to enter your um, website link. So for this instance, I will just enter my website, ellenpro.com. And this is where the audience is going to, uh, the ad will directly direct the audience to this link. And just the headline, because it says, let's see, Cosmetic 30% Lux. No, let's do this. Luxury Cosmetic thirty percent of four. Of course, this headline could be better. I'm just, um, this is just the first one that pops up on my head. And this is how it's gonna show on people's, on people's um, Facebook. This is the desktop. And this is what it's gonna show on the mobile device. Instagram. Okay, just let's stick with the desktop newsfeed first. And uh, for the text, this is this section right here. I will just put use coupon code 30 off, something like that. And code to action is this button right here. You can select apply now. It really um, depends on what's more relevant to your um, ad. I would just put shop now since we're doing some cosmetic shopping. And let me see if I could change a picture to a more relevant one. Okay, here's a stock photo. It's finally loading. Look for cosmetic. It looks nice, just a little. I'll just use this one then and delete this one and right, click on done. Also, uh, when you um, upload your own image, make sure you don't have, uh, make sure the 70% of the image is picture. You cannot use more than 30% text. Otherwise, Facebook will, will reject your ad. Okay, so that looks real nice. Okay, I guess that's it. Yeah, like what I said, um, you have to do like different split tests, like maybe different headline, different picture, different text, different code direction. It might be, uh, the result will be different for sure. So it really takes time for you to um, test and see which one is the best. And after you're all done, make sure just click on this place order. So what's the ideal customer set and how do you tell? Um, basically, if you get this uh, campaign um, less than $1 per conversion or $1 per click, it's considered real good. So that's it. Again, if you want to know more about selling online, check out my website, ellenpro.com. I'll see you then.